Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day, cause any day one can be out on two wheels. Is a beautiful day, and yeah, looky here, finally the Speed Twin. All new, a lot of new updates for 2021 this year. Let's get right into those updates, shall we? What's new, my top five list. We'll go over all the updates, but just the top five list right away. Motor, yeah, you're looking at that big bad boy, 1200 cc. They moved the torque range, the peak torque down a little bit from 47 to 4200 RPMs. Also, it's Euro 5 compliant, but they gave it three more ponies, but up at the high end. But, so they moved the ponies higher and the torque lower. I will not complain about that ever. Also, the clutch pull. There's a new torque assist clutch. It's much, much lighter. Now it feels like a 600 cc bike. Uh, amazing to me. Also, look up here, the suspension. Yeah, these are new. The, they're upside down versus the previous had the right side up. Remember with the rubber gaiters on them? But being upside down, you'll see down there now that makes room for bigger discs and also the main thing, the monoblock. These are Brembo M50 monoblocks on there. So that's a serious upgrade there for that. Yeah, and also while you're looking down at the front wheel, those are your new 12 spoke lighter aluminum rims. Those make a difference with the turn in. Yeah, I can tell there. Also the electronics, the three mapping modes, uh, the rain, road, and sport are all now with, controlled with a throttle response and also torque control too. So all those changes, also, yeah, little changes like this is now brushed stainless. Uh, the, the head here is all aluminum. The swing arm is no longer painted black aluminum. Now it's the regular aluminum color. Yeah, you know what, let's just get right into the numbers. Let's pull up the competition chart, shall we? Yeah, let's take a look at this Roadster slash Retro slash Classic Custom <laughs> chart that I have here. Uh, and actually, Triumph calls this bike a modern classic. From 1938, for those of you that didn't know, the first Speed Twin was created in 1938 that Triumph brought that to market. And that's what this is paying homage to, just in case you didn't know. Take a look at the numbers here. Where is the Speed Twin and power and HP? It's only at 99, so that's the low man on totem pole on this list. But you look at the torque, it's no longer a low man on totem pole, but second to the lowest. The Kawasaki's coming in first place as, as far as lowest torque. But you go over to the weight, the Kawasaki's the lightest, and then this is right there. Yeah, and I have the Thruxton RS on there. Even though that's an unfair comparison, say, why is it unfair? Look at the money. Also, look at down at the bottom, the uh, the Diavel. That's, yeah, you can go start at 21. So just want to put it, it's on there for reference. I'm not comparing the Diavo in the Thruxton to this. But now the other bikes on here, the Kawasaki, the Indian, and the BMW 1250R. Yeah, those are roadsters. And some get a little more classic. Some have a little bit more like a flat track appeal. Some have a little more modern and so now that you guys have seen the numbers how does this powertrain perform on the street let's talk about the torque and where it's at and how this has changed so but i i can feel it at three grand i'm only at three grand here here watch i'll get on it coming out oh and then there at four. Oh, the five and six. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, this torque is better. It's coming on sooner, stronger, smoother. Oh yeah, nice. And with this clutch, oh, this, this clutch is, it feels like a 600 or even a 400. Now that is a lot lighter. This clutch pull, you know, let's drop her down a couple. Oh, oh, loving that torque. Here, let's slow down and pull the, let, let the white ba van pull away from us there. And let's, let's have a little fun in some corners, shall we? <laughs> and that torque, oh yeah, 
<laughs> oh yeah, loving this torque. This new torque is awesome. It's th th this thing is transformed with this motor with a lighter crank. It wants to spin up so much faster. It says, "Play with me." Kind of like a naked bike, maybe a middleweight naked, uh, but this weighs more than a middleweight naked. But uh, overall, with the improvements to the motor, the clutch, uh, and moving torque lower. And you guys know, I love torque. <laughs> and Triumph, you did the right thing by giving us more torque lower down. Move that peak down from 4,700 down to 42. That is awesome. <laughs> Two thumbs way, way up. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, guys, let's come up to the chassis. You can see that this fork here, this triple clamp here has changed. This used to be black, now it's all anodized aluminum. You have your upside down Marzocchi there, 120 mil of travel, a 320 disc, and yeah, the M50's there. Boom, boom, oh yeah, and let me show you here. Look at this radio mount right there. Yeah, Brembo also. On the rear, two-piston Nissan floating, 220 discs. How does this chassis now, yeah, this is the standard, same as last year, although they have adjusted it to compensate for the stiffer, firmer, more performance-oriented Marzocchis. So how is this suspension on this country road that's not perfect by any means? It's doing fairly well. Uh, it is a little more firm than the previous, uh, but I would not say stiff. Uh, it's a little more responsive to what I want to do. And here, the rear brake is okay. Uh, it's a little difficult. Oh, wrong way. But when you lean this thing over into this corner here, oh, curve. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job, Triumph, with these Marzokis. Loving them. Let's try the front. Oh, yeah. Good. Nice feel feedback on these monoblock M50s. Yeah, this is excellent. Loving this change, Triumph. Good job. All right, guys, let's continue on with this beautiful bike. Look at this brushed accents aluminum. This is new this year. This used to be black. Now it's this brushed stainless. Uh, and also the swing arm is now this anodized aluminum. And I still love the look of this fender, the aluminum, both the front and the rear fender. Look at that front down there. The seat got higher this year. Went from 807 to 809. Don't know why that is. Maybe that's to compensate for the stiffer suspension on the front. They brought this up two mils, although two mils, you're not gonna notice the difference. 14 and a half liter tank full up. This weighs 216 kilos. So a little heavier, but how does that extra little heavier because of Euro compliance, Euro 5 compliance, feel on the street now that the wheels are actually lighter? In town here, the throttle mapping is doing pretty good. I, I switched, I got it in road. Oh, I should watch what I'm doing. Look at that, this thing just dips right in. Just boom, push it over. That, that's also what I'm noticing about this. This thing is, is I'll, I'll actually use the term on the first 1200 bike that it's flickable. Wow, I didn't think that. That's the unsprung mass with this these new rims on here. But uh, in road mode, uh, no complaints. No complaints whatsoever about this mapping. And the, the flickability in town here is just odd. This, this would be one of my favorite uh, commuters. If, if I have to go through a city all the time, and then with this torque, oh yeah. All right, let's come up to the controls, guys. Nothing's changed for these controls. Here's where you control your mapping modes. 
but this is looking really nice up here with this this new look here uh, oh and also these are new here the, the mount here for the headlight nothing's really changed there very basic, very standard, uh, cannot complain. Still, your traditional dials. Because you got to remember that Triumph's going for the 1938 look there uh, with this TFT. Oh, yeah, in a, in a modern uh, daytime running like LED projection here, too. So, all right, guys, where would I place this? See, it's, it's, it's right in this Roadster uh performance group but it still looks older it still has that look yeah triumph did update the front suspension and brakes uh and this motor spins up faster easier than the previous gen sure uh basically i would if i wanted a classic roadster i'd get the t120 bonneville i just did that video a few weeks ago if I wanted to keep up with some naked guys, not standards, because this will, this will definitely pull away from me some of your standard bikes, no problem, I'll perform them. And, and that's generally where a Roadster's performance limits ended with standards. There's no way I would ever say that a Roadster bike or any one of the ones I put in that chart will keep up with, or even attempt to keep up with any middleweight naked. This, can uh, some of the middleweight nakeds it can I've, I was very surprised now with this updated motor this clutch how crisp and clean that that transmission shifts uh, and these front forks yeah with, especially with these brakes uh, good job all right guys I hope you've enjoyed this review as always guys number one ride safe that is most important on the list and number two guys Ride like there's nothing to prove. Take care. Cheers.